Hello and welcome to another video. This one is slightly different. I'm upstairs at the moment. So I've got a few different videos I want to shoot. Um, I did one a week or two ago. I uploaded probably a few days ago about my 3D Blu-rays. And I just wanted, I've got a few different subjects I want to do um, videos on. Things are probably wouldn't necessarily fit in the other videos I do or things I want to cover separately. Um, there will be an update video. Uh, plan to do one on the first week of July. Uh, Wednesday is the best day for me to shoot uh, longer videos and I booked the time off work. Although I'm working from home, uh, I don't always get the time to do anything so got the whole week off uh, so I'll do an update video then not sure how long it'll be probably be an hour or a bit more depends but I just want to do some sort of different videos I've got a few planned of these I'll upload these sporadically when I, when I come to do them they're not going to be under a particular title like I did do my updates or I've done with the duplicate videos ones uh, duplicate titles uh, this is just sort of separate videos. I may put a title on it at some point as part of a series, but at the moment it's going to be sort of random videos. Now this is sort of a duplicate video as well, but I wanted to uh, go through my uh, Clint Eastwood collection. So there was a box set that came out end of 2019, I think. It was £200. I didn't bother buying it because in terms of what's in there, I had most of the films, so seven in there, that one DVD, one already got as a Blu-ray, which is Thunderbolt and I thought that was a boutique one. And there's a few of the DVDs in there. One was Bronco Billy as well, which I don't own at all. That has got a Blu-ray release now. I think I had a Blu-ray release at the time, but not in the UK. Also in that set is... Um, the Rookie, which has had a Blu-ray release in the UK as well, but it seems to be out of print. There is a German one, but I'm not too bothered about buying that. And so, yeah, the, the set's been around for a while. I've, I did sort of keep an eye on it. It's been £199, or just under £200, really. £199, £99. And I've not really wanted to spend that much because you know, I'm double dipping and it's, you know, spending that much on titles I've already got just to have an extra three or four on DVD which I don't own and one or two on Blu-ray but I noticed um, today I had another look at it and it came up on the Prime Day deals second day of the Prime Day deals I wasn't sure if it was everyone had seen that price or if it, or Prime members because I've Prime, Prime members only sale or because I'd looked at it previously and you know Amazon or what you're interested in it, we'll put the price down. I don't know how it works with these things. Anyway, it was down 20%, so it was one five nine ninety nine. A bit more than I wanted to pay, but I looked at it. It's a limited set. It's going to be probably never much cheaper than that anyway. And the 60 yard discs in there. So I just sort of bit the bullet and I've ordered it. They do come in sort of sleeves inside the discs, and I did see some comments online on Amazon reviews that this could come loose and some got scratched now Blu-rays are more resilient but there's seven or so DVDs in there which could come loose uh, but I'll take that risk and I can always send it back and get a replacement if needs be um, but I thought you know I'll, I'll just get it because it was a decent price part of it was also because I'm saving space as well because um, I'll you know, I've been getting rid of a lot of them. Well, not really getting rid of but sending a lot of my duplicate titles off. And trying to sort of keep, get things down to a minimum, really, if I can. Now, it's quite a big set in terms of height, but thickness is not too bad. And in terms of space it'll take up, is a lot less than what I've got now. Um, I did also have, I don't know if I've sold it or I've, I've got it to sell still. I've got a three Western set. Um, I think Power Rider might be in there. A couple of um, 
two or three Western titles um, Clint Eastwood are in. I've got that, but I had those um, in that set there, so I don't need to keep it. So I've got rid of that, or so I've got it to sell if I haven't sold already. But I basically can get rid of all this now, or sell it. I did look at CX, not really worth my time CX, I think like that was probably 15 quid, and that's seven. And I'm sure I can sell it for more anyway. Because don't forget, CX, I will offer price. The price I sell it for is more. So what I tend to do is I sell something, I go in the middle ground between what I would get from CX and what they're selling it for, or Amazon selling it for, if I can say Amazon. Um, so I probably won't recoup all my £160, but I can try and get most of it back, or if not most of it, at least like £100 selling this stuff. And I'll say, take a lot of this space. And with these sets, um, so this is the first one. Um, so this is, it's a nice set. I did open it and thought, I'm trying to think, oh, is there some cars or something in here? But no, it's it's got two DVDs in here, but they're in that set anyway. And then it's got all these films in jumbo cases. Um, and there's 20 films in there. So that basically is a big set. I mean, it's a nice looking set, but I just don't want all these different ones. Um, cause I've, I've got the, um, so I've got this set here, which is uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, this set is a universal release. So I think Warner Brothers have released, have released a big set. And I don't know if the discs are branded as Warner or still Universal to the different label. But they've written all the artwork. Um, and they've no different extra features. Although apparently the Unforgiven Million Dollar Baby don't have different art, um, matching artwork. They're different because they won best picture and people are complaining about it but it's not really a problem i don't really care about the other but yeah these are all like eight individual cases in this box and again it's a nice looking set you know but i just don't really need it it's taking space up as you can see two two big sets there this is the Dirty Harry set, and again, these are all individual releases. Now, there was a, a nice collector set with a badge and other stuff in. I, I have the DVD version. I don't know if there was a Blu-ray version or not. And if there was, whether I passed the next, I got the DVD one, or it sold out, or I just thought there was no point buying it, and I got this one instead. But So, that basically, this is a normal set. Um... But I say I think the DVD set is basically the same as the Blu-ray one in terms of the extras, as in like the badge and all this stuff with it. It's just see the DVD discs, supposed to Blu-ray discs. Um, now some of these films are, for instance, Dirty Harry. He's in the set in the set and Magnum Force, but the other three aren't. So there's a slight bit of overlap, but again, I can't really. Probably in the DVD days, I would have taken the tiles out of this set and given the chance up or sold them or whatever, CX. But I don't like doing that because this is a complete set and I've ended up keeping a load of DVD stuff boxes just because I've given odd films away in a set. You know, I'd, I'd, I tend to now, with those DVD sets, I'll wait till i got all the films on Blu-ray before I get rid of the set. Um, so that one is... Universal, that's Warner Brothers, that other one to Warner Brothers. This is MGM. This is uh, Spaghetti Western Trilogy. Now, there are new, newer releases of these, uh, might be in 4K releases, more Kino, and even Good, Bad, and Ugly had a better UK release. This is just the original transfer one. Um, but yeah, so that's another set. Again, it's a nice looking set, but I don't need to keep it. And I've got I'll say, well, my you, because I've got rid of quite a few of my box sets already because I've got them on Steelbook. Um, so, Rich and Neil had a load of box sets going across the whole shelf, and now I've got rid of a, lo a load of them already. I do still have some downstairs, and I've got some more I can take downstairs. Uh, things like the Wizard of Oz 4K set I've got, and 
to the Clint Eastwood set. So I have got some other sets. But yeah, I've got rid of a lot of box sets. Boutique ones, no. I've still got a load of boutique ones because I've no need to get rid of those. But things like this where I've got films under the sets. And I've got plenty of other boxes I, I, I want to get rid of. Where I've got two out of four, three out of four films on Steelbook. But I'm keeping them for you know one or two films. And... One, is, for instance, is a uh, Doomsday Set. And I think the only one I haven't got as another release is The Day the Earth is Still. There is a still book which I don't want to get, but it's a German release only. And it's got a German title on, which isn't a problem, but it just seems to be quite expensive because it was released a while back. And I could pick up an individual release and just put that in my collection and sell that other one. But it's like five or six pounds. It's not worth it. I'm not going to gain anything. So may one day get a UK still book. I don't know. This is one of the ones I picked up uh, recently. This is 1517 to Paris. This stars the actual people who uh, were involved in this. I haven't watched this yet. It's still sealed because I've, I've only sort of recently bought it. I've not done anything with it yet. Um, I didn't pick it up straight away because I wasn't overly bothered to pick it up straight away. I was wait, waited. It was quite cheap. So I picked it up. It was like two or three pounds. Um, so that's uh, Jersey Boys. I have seen this is just a standard release in a slip cover. Tightrope, again, the standard release. Um, so I think most of these individual ones are Warner Brothers. Um, but yeah, it's standard release. And I'll say, I think, I'm sure all the extra pieces on these discs are in the sets. In the, so you're not losing anything. Because that uh, 20 film set, there's a Eastwood Factor. I think it's Eastwood Factor, it's on DVD. But it's on the Invictus Blu-ray. And I did see people make comments about it not being on there. Uh, but they did check and it is. Because I again I had some of these individually anyway. Things like Invictus. Um I think what else did I have individually? I think I might have had Flags Our Fathers as well. Hereafter. So I think I bought them probably before I got this set. And things I had Power Ride, I think I had it in a individual release, and I might have had it in that three film set as well. Um, so, before, as soon as I got the set, any ones I didn't have in vision, I didn't bother buying because I already got them in this anyway. But, um, yeah, the new mix is one. The single release that was on there, there was a DVD, digital copy, but again, yeah, I don't need that. So, but yeah, so most of these I didn't, so I, most of these I didn't own previously, but so I did have some already. Uh, this is In the Line of Fire. Now, there is a I think it's a 4K of this, possibly, but uh, this is in the set as well. And this is Sony. Um, so I'll say there's a little mixture of Sony, MGM, Paramount, Universal. Don't think there's any Fox. Don't think there's any Fox um, releases for Eastwood films. I don't think um, did any films with Fox. But uh, yeah, so that's another one. This is Paramount. This is Escape from Alcatraz. Again, um individual release now these are all us ones and i bought these fairly recently I, th I think i bought these when i knew about that set or the set was already out but i think i looked at it you know i, I didn't need a lot of the films that sex already got them and it was easier and cheaper to buy these individually uh, so i ended up buying these uh these are all us releases i don't think these have had uk releases or i'm not sure if they had um, but this is blood work. So these are all of, these sort of films that people probably aren't overly familiar with. Um, uh, this is a double bill set, every which way but loose, and in which way you can. And again, some of these, a lot of these, I don't have actually many extra features on. Probably just a trailer. Don't think he does any commentaries. Um, so, so I will double check these. To the set to make sure I'm not giving up anything, but I think the shoe will be the same. Uh, this is true crime, and there's a few extra pieces on this one actually, and, and they are on that set. Uh, this is Bridges Madison County, probably one of the more recent ones I picked up of the US ones anyway. Uh, I haven't watched this one yet. Um, again, some extra features on there as well, and then Absolute Power. And they, some of these I actually had on DVD, so I upgraded the DVDs for these. Um, but yeah, that's that one. 
And then there's some DVDs in the sets. Um, so you've got Paint Your Wagon. So I can get rid of this DVD. Um, this is a Paramount one again. Um, so I can get rid of this one. So it's a DVD in the set. But, you know, I can't really do much about that. And then there's Bird as well. Another, another DVD one. This is Warner Brothers. So I can get rid of this as well. So as you can see, I've it's quite a, a lot here that I'm sort of freeing up space. These are my obviously normal shelves. So I've freed up space there. And, uh, so that's a, well, I have my USB separate. I'm taking all these off. Um, I think it was just those five, wasn't it? Yeah, that was on my Sony shelf. That was on Paramount. These were Warner Brothers. These were that would also go on Warner Brothers when it went downstairs. That's a DVD. That's another DVD. That was all box sets. Um, it says all that. I probably could have done this video when I had the the new set, but I just thought, well, I want to get this video done now, and it's going to be a long video if I wait to get to till I get that set. I may show that set in a separate video, possibly. But yeah, a lot of stuff here. So there's things in that set which haven't had UK DVD releases and haven't even had Blu-ray releases anywhere at all. Things like White Hunter, Black Heart, or Black Hunter, White Heart. I can't think of the title of that one. I'm not over familiar with that one. Pink Cadillac. Um, Say Rocky. Um, I think there's only ones I didn't have. And I, I could have picked those up individually, as I say, and probably would have only spent 10, 15, 20 quid. But I don't really want to be buying DVDs on their own. Even though technically I've bought the DVDs and that set. And I don't really want to German release. It's, it's all about saving space. And I, I, so I could probably recoup a good chunk of money back. By selling these. Um, so. When I say I've spent £160. I probably won't in the end. I'll probably end up spending £100 or something. Depending on what I sold this for. I mean the, the DVDs. More likely to go to the charity shop. Because they're not really worth anything. But. Um. Yeah, the only thing, some people said things, there's a couple of things I'm missing in there, but not really anything of any note. Um, I say Thunderbolt and Lightfoot is a DVD, but I've, I've got the Blu ray from Second Sight and it's not had a proper studio release, so which is the DVD in there. I'm not sure, sure put the DVD out. Um, what else is there? And this Richard Jewell's not in there. That's the only one I don't really own, I think, because, well, will be the only one I don't own. Once I got the set, because I haven't got more at the moment, um, it's got a release elsewhere, but it's not had a UK release. Well, at least not on Blu-ray. So I, I do want to try and get that at some point. There's other things I've got, which, um, so instance, I've got Unforgiven 4K, but I'm getting still book of that. Um, so I'll still keep my Unforgiven anyway, because it's 4K. Um, I'll, I'll, well. I'll keep I'll have the steel book and I'll sell off the regular 4K release I got for that. Things like Sully, I've already got my part to sell if I haven't already sold. Um, because I've got the steel book. Actually, I don't think I've sold Sully yet. Because I've got the steel book of that, the German steel book, so I replaced that with that. The Mule, I picked up the Blu ray originally, but then I swapped it for the 4K because it wasn't actually much more when I bought it in HMV. So. Again, that's something I'm going to be keeping separate release of. And anything I've got a digi book of or a still book of, I'm, I'm keeping those. But I think this is everything I can I can sort of sell. But so I'll, I'll wait till I get the set first before I start selling stuff off because I want to check it. And I'll probably add this to my massive pile. I've still got like 200 tiles to sell, so I'll add this all to that pile and I'll sell that on. Sell those on at some point. Because I've added all to all those arrow ones as well and I've got a few other ones I need to add in there like... The Omen, I've got the Omen. Um. Don't know if my audio went there or not. Or if still recording audio because I got a message on my phone, but yeah. So I'll I'll draw I'll leave the video there anyway, because I'm I'm not sure what's happened to the audio. Cause it did come up saying another app is using the audio. So, you either can't hear me now, or the audio cut out for a few seconds, but anyway, I'll leave it for now because it's been 20 minutes, and I will see you in another video shortly. Thank you.